Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology, Immunology. And today's topic of discussion is Steps of Phagocytosis. Okay guys, so let's start a discussion on this. And please do subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends to subscribe and share our videos. Okay guys, there are steps of phagocytosis. You know phagocytosis, the phagocytosis is nothing but eating up of microorganisms by the phagocytes, right? So it means we are clearing the organisms from our body. We are not going to have any infection. That is what the aim of phagocyte is, right? Let's move on to the steps. What happens? How they come to know? For example, if you're, if you're a resident, if you're a resident, okay, internal medicine resident, and you get a call, if you, are, if you are on call, and you get a call, you get a call not from the patient, you get a call from a nurse, right? So she will make a call to you and inform you about the patient. Then you will run to the ER, right? So this is how the mechanism acts, right? Same thing that happens with what you call the phagocytes. Patient won't make a call to you, right? It's a nurse, in charge nurse, she will make a call to you. To, and inform you about the patient then you will go and see the patient in ER that's it right so this is how what we see in a phagocyte this, that's why we call it the steps of phagocytosis the first one remember is a rolling what's rolling is for example if this is what you call endothelium okay If this is the endothelium and the phagocyte came to know about the infection, the, this is a blood, okay, here is the blood is moving, right? Blood is moving, okay? So the phagocyte, what they happen if there's a site of infection over here, somewhere here, think that this is an infection over here, okay, or anywhere. So what happens when they, came, when they come to know that there's an infection, they come and get attached over here. This is the phagocytes, nothing but macrophages, right? Just for what you call, let me draw the granules. Okay, okay. This is a phagocyte, and it this is known as rolling. So what happens in a rolling is they come to know that there is a site of infection. They come and stick over here loosely, very loosely, by what you call e-selectin molecules. E-selectin molecules. Okay, e selective molecule. Remember this bond, what they are attached with, is really very loose. If the blood flow is very fast, this can take away this cell, this macrophage, from this site. Okay, so this is loose. So what we need to do, we have to, what you call, uh, this uh, phagocyte to attach firmly, so that it can execute its plan to kill the microorganism. Right? The next step is activation. Next step is activation. What happens? What is activation? Is nothing but it's activation by the chemoattractants. Okay. So what happens? The chemokines, okay, chemokines released in the area of during the inflammation. When there's inflammation, there's a release of chemokines. Especially I'm gonna talk about IL8, C5A, and NFP, that is N formal peptides produced by the bacteria. Okay. The other interlike, uh, what you call chemoattractive molecules are there, like a leukotron B4, okay, fibrinopeptides, okay. I will talk about these three things. So what happens when they are released, okay, they bind to the receptors on the phagocyte surface and trigger, and trigger, if this is cell, phagocyte over here, mm -mm, let me draw it, okay, they bind and they release what you call, uh, they trigger a G protein mediated activating signal, G protein mediated activating signal okay and this signal induces what you call it, some change in the integrin molecules in the phagocyte membrane that increases their affinity for immunoglobulin superfamily camps that is IgG supercamps IgG supercamps means what happens in 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 in, in what you call it, to tell you uh, just Mm, that uh, these cells are getting attached firmly now what happens even if the blood flow is fast they won't go away 
they will be attached over here only they will stay here only okay now the next stage is arrest and addition arrest and addition and addition okay the interaction between the integrins and the IgG super Ig immunoglobulin super family cams okay stabilizes the addition of phagocytes to the endothelium means this bond is getting what you call it, stronger and stronger so that the cells should stay over here only that's it guys so now I will tell you one disease where this bond doesn't take place that is lab that is leukocyte addition deficiency what happens in leukocyte addi addition deficiency there is a, a deficiency of what you call CD18 and this results in uh, what you call improper function of integrins and the phagocytes are not attached over here and what happens these phagocytes keep on moving they don't get attached hence the patient will have more granulocytes in the blood smear uh, but no pus or no abscess because they are not attached they don't form a colony okay they cannot form a society they're moving away everyone is moving away okay guys now last and the uh, important step is what you call uh, trans endothelial migration okay what happens trans endothelial migration if this is the endothelium phagocyte will make a space and they will move away okay this is what the endothelium is carrying inside the what you call it, inflammatory area to kill the microorganisms. That's it, guys. This is about the steps of phagocytosis. Okay, guys. I hope you got an idea what's a phagocytosis is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.